I'm Dr. Caroline Novak, a physician at the Vein Treatment Clinic. Today I'm going to talk about TED hose and compression stockings, why we use them, do they help, and where to find a good pair. In the hospital, we use the term TED hose all the time, but nurses and even doctors have to pause for a minute when someone asks, what do TED hose stand for? TED hose, or TED hose, stands for thromboembolic deterrent. A thrombus is a blood clot, and a thromboembolism is a blood clot that has traveled from its original position within the body to another place such as the lungs, often causing significant consequences. The most common place for blood clots to form is the legs. A combination of many factors, including immobility, make it much more likely for a clot to form. So hospitalized individuals who are stuck in bed are at a much higher risk of clots. TED hose are tight stockings that put pressure on the leg, especially in the calf, helping improve blood flow in the veins in that area and preventing the formation of clots. Similar to TED hose are compression stockings. Compression stockings can help prevent blood clots, but are mainly used to alleviate symptoms of venous insufficiency. Compression stockings usually apply the most pressure at the feet and ankle area, then gradually become less tight further up the leg. Venous insufficiency is a very common condition where the blood vessels in the legs fail to keep blood flowing effectively towards the heart. Over time, the veins bulge and swell, and new spider and varicose veins may form on the surface of the skin. I think of this like a pipe within a wall, where venous insufficiency in your veins is like having a leaky pipe, and the spider veins and varicose veins are the stains on the surface of a wall that forms a result of the leaky pipe. People with venous insufficiency often have cramping, fatigue, heaviness or discomfort in their legs, and compression stockings, or TED hose, can help. However, others do not have relief with compression hose and may require advanced treatment with minimally invasive technology such as sclerotherapy, radiofrequency ablation, or venaseal, aka vein glue. Learn more by visiting us on the web at www.veintreatmentclinic.com or by seeing a vein doctor in person at our locations in New York, New Jersey, and California. We look forward to meeting you.